Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with G Suite. My name is Chad, and I'm a product manager with Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I help prevent, detect, and remediate data exfiltration? And we'll show you a little bit of how you can do that. OK, so we're going to start off by showing you how you can prevent data exfiltration first. So we're going to start off in the admin console and come to the left-hand menu and go to rules here. And this is where you can create data loss prevention rules, or DLP rules. Um, and in our scenario, we have a project that is very sensitive called Project Utopia. We don't want it to be shared externally. So what we've done is we've come in and we've created a DLP rule um, that blocks the sharing of this. So we'll dig into this a little bit more and show you how this is set up. Um, we've named this Project Utopia. Uh, we've said this rule applies to all Google Drive files. Um, if uh, anything matches the word Utopia, we want this rule to trigger. And we want it to block uh, external access or block external sharing from happening. And so we've created this rule. Um, and now I want to show you what it looks like from the end user view. So if we come to a file that contains the word Utopia, um, what we can see here is it's talking about our sensitive project. Um, but when you look at the sharing option, it actually changes what this sharing icon looks like. So instead of the normal sharing icon, you have a shield here. And if you hover over the button, it says that the document contains sensitive content. So that's really important because what we're doing is we're helping to educate users and helping them to understand uh, that this is something that's sensitive. It's something they shouldn't be sharing. Um, so beyond just blocking them from sharing, it also helps to educate the end users. Now, if they decide that they want to share this anyways, um, let's say we come in here and we say that we want to share this to anyone on the web. If we try to save that, we get back an error saying, you know, this cannot be shared externally. It's sensitive. So we reconfirm that, and we block the user from doing this. One of the really nice things about uh, data loss prevention rules is that they prevent uh, the, the sensitive sharing from happening. So it's not something you need to go in and clean up. Uh, so that's a great way to prevent uh, data exfiltration from ever happening. Um, but as admins, we know that we can't identify everything before the fact. And so it's also important to have ways to detect and remediate issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the investigation tool, uh, which is part of the Security Center. And we're going to show you how you could detect an issue and remediate that issue. Uh, so we'll come down to uh, drive log events. And in our scenario, let's say that we have a user that we're worried about, whether they're thinking about leaving the company or they have other risk factors. Um, we're going to use me as a bad example here um, and use Chad Tyler. And let's look for any time that that user has shared a file that was internal, and they shared that file externally. So we'll look for a visibility change. And we'll search for that. Um, so the investigation tool is great to help you quickly look through what's happening in your organization and filter things down so you can find the most important events. And so we get results back here. And again, we see things that are very sensitive, um, files that we probably don't want shared externally. So we can quickly detect that there's an issue there. We can select these files and go to Actions, Audit File Permissions. And then right from here, we can change the sharing on any of these files. So if, for instance, there's this user that's external and we don't want them to have access, we can quickly remove their access. Or we can act on many files at once and remove their access um, from these files. So we can quickly go and get ourselves back into a good state so that we no longer have to worry about uh, that issue or, or those files being shared externally anymore. And so that's a quick view about how you can prevent using DLP and how you can detect and remediate using the investigation tool. So in that demo, we showed you how you can prevent data exfiltration using G Suite's data loss prevention product. And we also walked you through how you can detect and remediate data exfiltration using the investigation tool within G Suite Security Center. I just want to thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com/security for more content from Google Cloud experts.